Hello everyone, I'd like to use two videos to introduce how can we use Siemens 1200 PLC to control the stack motor. And in this video, I will mainly talk about the hardware portion. In this video, I'd like to use the low cost stack motor driver. And I will use the typical industrial style stack motor. Basically, the current of the motor could be 1 ampe to 4 ampe. Basically, those type of motor can provide the new meter, the torque, roughly under 5 new meter. So this is a typical low cost application for the positioning control. And the controller side, you can either use the MCU, the embedded system, or the low cost industrial PLC. For example, the Siemens 1200 PLC or Omron or Allen Bradley low cost PLC. And typically those PLC output, they all transistor output. So the output of the PLC can deliver PTO, high pulses output. And for the low cost application, typical style of the step motor driver, you will find this style. So if we move to the next page, and this is their typical style. If you search the step motor driver or micro step driver, you will find there are multiple type of the step motor driver. The typical price, basically, they all less than 50 US dollar or even low cost than this. And the typical input of the control signal, they have the high pulses input and the direction signal and the enable signal. Same as the right side, the high pulses input, direction and enable. And from the driver connect to the step motor, and we can see here from this picture, and the step motor usually has four wires. There are four wires represent A plus, A minus, B plus, B minus. So from this driver, we can connect A and B, four wires. Then you can supply the power for this step driver. The voltage of this power supply is used to drive the motor. Typically, the power range could be very wide, from 9 volts to 40 watts. And according to the typical industrial style, common voltage would be 24 voltage. So we could connect to 24 to these terminals. However, you will find there are a lot of applications talking about how to connect the MCU, the embedded system, to those micro step drivers or step motor drivers. And their typical voltage around those control signals, the high pulses, they all 5 voltage. The typical embedded system could be the Arduino or ARM Cortex M3 or M4 to allow the embedded system to drive the control signal to those micro step drivers. All those input control signal inputs are designed by using 5 volts by default. Then the question will be if we are using the PLC and the power, typically this 24 voltage, how can we connect to those step driver here? Okay. Then let's turn to the right side of this picture. So this is one important topic I'd like to discuss. You will find from Amazon or AliExpress, when you search those step drivers, you cannot find the manuals or any diagram for those micro step drivers. But the lucky thing is because they're all low cost, the common design in those micro step drivers, their design almost the same. Once you figure out the rough idea of the design inside, Basically, you can use the similar method, the similar wiring for all other similar, those micro step motor drivers. So let me explain like this. Typically, all those inputs for the step motor driver, their inputs, they all 5 volts. If our system, if our power is 24 voltage, then in some cases you will find the step motor driver seller will recommend you to add one resistor, like here, the resistor. Then the question is, how can we select the resistor? Typically, the current go through this high pulses input, same as here, the high pulses input. Their current will be 5 mN to 10 mN. Then we could do a rough calculation. If this VCC power is 24 watt, so we have a dial here, so the 24 minus 0 0.7, this is the dial voltage. And then we over a ohm equal to, for example, equal to 5 mN. We try to limit under or around 5 to 10 mN. Then we can roughly calculate the ohm. This calculate ohm equal to 
2.3 K ohm. Okay, and also considering there is one resistor inside this step motor driver. Okay, inside here. So we can see here, there's one resistor at each channel. Basically, those resistors around 200 to 300 ohm. Then we can minus this 300 ohms. So roughly, those resistor we can select 2 to 3K. So you can select the 2 to 3K ohm and then connect to those channels. So this is resistor we can select while we are using 24 voltage. And then you will find at the left side and right side, I have two groups of the wiring. This is usually we call it the common hot or the common ground. And typically in the industrial style, if your PLC, if your PLC output is the source output, basically from each channel, the current goes this way, then this is the source. And this is the typical style of the PLC, the digital output style. Then we will do the common ground. The each channels minus, we will join them together, do the ground, okay, do the minus of the power source. And from the PLC side, each channel, they all connect to the resistor and then go to the channel positive. And don't forget this ground and the PLC ground, they need to join together. We need to do the common ground. Okay, don't forget this. And then if your PLC, the output, DO output is a sync style, that means the current will go into the PLC. The current go into the PLC output. This is usually called the sync. The current will go into the PLC device. Okay, then go to the ground. Then this style, we need the common hot. So all those positive will be joined together, connect to the common hot. And this hot will be connect to the power supply, also connect to the PLC. They will share and use the power supply. Okay, but the same thing from each channel, we will also connect the resistors. Typically, each resistor is 2K ohm. Okay, and once you figure out this, then the rest of things are quite easy. The power supply, you can connect to the step motor driver, connect to the power supply. And the four wires connect to the A plus, A minus, B plus, B minus. Okay, those are the wires. And uh, keep in mind again, so if you are using the MCU 5 voltage, basically you do not need to connect the resistors. But if you are using the PLC and your power supply from the PLC output is 24 voltage, then basically you need to connect the resistors. But some little bit higher end step motor driver, typically they would adapt the input power. So probably you can review the manual of those step motor driver. So in my system, I will use the Siemens 1200 and the PTO high pulses output. And one channel, I will connect the high pulses and one channel, I will control the direction. Then I will use this industrial style step motor and connect to this A and B. And my voltage is 24 voltage. And regarding the wirings, firstly, if you are using the Siemens PLC, make sure you are using the DC, DC, DC output. Basically, the third DC means the transistor output. You cannot use the relay PLC. So do not select the DC, DC relay or AC, DC relay. Do not select the relay PLC. You have to use the DC, DC, DC transistor output. So this PLC built-in output can deliver the high pulses output. Okay, and the detail of this wiring L plus I will connect the positive 24 and uh, I'm this is the ground I will connect the negative of the power supply so join together a resistor and connect to the pulses of this SP plus then the point one this is the direction so this will also connect to a resistor and I connect to here Okay, this is the direction positive. Then the negative at here, say this is the negative, this is negative, they will join together and then go to the negative. They will join together. This is the common ground. Again, the DO point zero will be used to deliver the high pulses. And the point one will be used to control the direction. And if you are using the Siemens 1200 PLC, typically each CPU can control four high pulses channels. 
That means the maximum of the step motor controlled by each controller, this PLC, CPU, you can control four step motors simultaneously. All right, this is the wiring and a diagram for the step motor drivers. And in the next video, I will show how can we use Siemens TI portal to config and program the motion control program to control the step motor running. And see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.